Hey guys, welcome to the Tars 37, and I'm reviewing this, which is the Spin Master Wave 2 Batwoman action figure. So really cool, really blessed to pick this up today. Uh, we got a nice core view of Batwoman box. We have Batwoman right there, first edition. And on the back here, we have a CGI picture of Batwoman. And I'm going to be honest, I did not expect them to do Batwoman this early on into the series. Like, when they announced this at Toy Fair, I was really excited, because typically, like, in a Batman toy line, we get either Harley Quinn, or Batgirl, or even Catwoman, before we get a character as obscure as Batwoman. So that's pretty cool that they made this, and, um, yeah, I think it's pretty neat. So, let's see, let's open it up real quickly. Definitely one of the characters I was most excited about in this, uh, wave. And then we have the trading card of Batman and Batwoman together. We're looking pretty good there. And let's look at the accessories. So first up, we get these Bat Gauntlets. They're the silver ones. We've seen these, um, I believe we've seen these pieces before, or ones similar. You just kind of like place it into their hand. Um, but it's pretty cool. I'll show them off a little bit better in a second. We also get these little pieces here, which um, remind me of the Duke Thomas Signal pieces. I don't know if he's actually coming out in this way or not, but it would be cool if they do give these to him eventually. I like how they're red too for that one. And let's see, lastly, lastly we have a blue grapnel gun. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And yeah, let's open this up. Here we have Batwoman out of packaging. And I think they've done a really good job with this. I like the details on the hair. It's kind of like a dark red. It's supposed to be a wig, so it doesn't look incredibly realistic. But, you know, again, it's supposed to be a wig, so I don't really mind how they did it. And I think it looks pretty good for the most part. I think it captures what it is in the comics. I like how you can see the little bat ears for it, too. And she has the white eyes and the red lipstick. She also has the bat emblem there. Um, really cool. She has kind of like a mesh detailing that goes around the side, like on the legs and on the arms and the back. And that's pretty cool. It just kind of makes it look more realistic, like a breathable armor type thing um, and I think that's neat you can see too at the neck it's actually kind of split there a little bit that's how it is on the TV show um, or a little bit it was on the I think the new costume I don't know if it was on the original costume but I think in the comic books I don't think she actually has the little kind of neck split there so that's kind of weird to be honest um, but yeah and she also has the armbands which are pretty good it has the free bat wings I kind of feel like the TV show was part of the reason they decided to go ahead and make this um, but it's cool regardless we got the bat belt there looks very good and she also does have a hole in her cape so she can wear the bat jetpack and the other things that need wearing um, the cape itself is a nice material. I, I don't really like the new one. I'm going to be honest. It's nice, but it kind of like bunches up a little bit. I kind of wish they would consider changing this in the future, but it's not too bad. And then the feet are also pretty good too. They're red boots and they got some nice details on them. So in terms of articulation, you got a 360 at the head. It's a little stiff and a little bit hindered due to the hair, but you got 360 the arms, swing out the shoulder, bendability at the elbow, and a 360. The legs come forwards, backwards, and outwards. You got a 360 at the thigh, single joint knees, and they also rotate 360. So, you know, um, I've talked about this before in some of my other Spin Master DC reviews. I really feel like for the price point, I feel like you're getting a really good amount of articulation as most toys in this price point usually are just five pointers. And she can hold the grapnel there. And then here's her with the armored gloves. And a lot of people have complained about them reusing the accessories. But I personally don't mind because, you know, you're getting, like, free accessories. And this one you actually get five because you get two of the gauntlets and uh, two of the little blade piece, uh, pieces. Um, but, you know, I just think, you know, that's really good because, again, most toy companies don't give accessories these days. So I think it's, like, a guaranteed free accessories in each figure. Even if it's the same one, just, like, repainted with different characters. I think it's a pretty good idea. Here's her lastly with the blade. So, yeah, again, I like all the accessories. Um, I think this is a pretty good Batwoman action figure. Um, you know, I really like Spin Master. I like what they're doing. And I think they knock it out of the park. For what they're trying to be for their price point, I think they always deliver. Here's a comparison really quickly with the Rebirth version of Batman. Um, most of the series is based on Batman Rebirth, and I believe that Batwoman is a character in Batman Rebirth. I think she's kind of like a more major character in that storyline. I'm not 100% sure, because uh, I often do get my comics mixed up. I believe um, she's with Batman and his team in that newer series, but I might be wrong about that. Here's a comparison really quickly with the Nightwing as well. And then here we have... The new Wave 2 Robin, which is absolutely one of my favorite figures. And Robin and Batwoman look really good together because they have the black and red. There's also supposed to be a black and red Nightwing coming out at some point. So I like this black and red type series they're doing. I think they look really good together. And then lastly, here is 
the Black Tuxedo Joker, also from Wave 2, who is probably my favorite Joker, and yeah, and so far, um, yeah, out of Wave 2, um, so far from what I've reviewed of it, I re reviewed three of the four, or three of the five figures, I think there's a variant of Batman, which I'm not gonna pick up, because I think it looks a little stupid, um, and there's a Killer Moth figure, who I might pick up eventually, not 100% sure, I'm not a big fan of that character, but between the three that I've reviewed with Robin, Joker, and Batwoman, um, it's kinda hard to say who my favorite is, because honestly, I really like them, I do like the new sculpt they used for Batwoman, but I really like the Robin and Joker as well, but I think Spin Master is doing a really good job, and I'm just excited to see how they continue, so, thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.